back in the game. I don't know if I can piece these two together, but I was just saying I had horse and buggy with a bunch of people past me, two of them actually. You can see their dust right there. And then the band-aid on my heel popped off. So I had to fix it. So I'm on my second hike of the day. Um, I'm going back the way I came because this was a really pretty view. And you know what's funny is it goes by so much faster second time around, when, especially when you're going the way you came because look at this. This is the pond that I couldn't see from that bench already. Right here. Can you see it? Right there. I see the little bench. I took a picture right on that bench. That's pretty cool. So it's going by a lot faster. I'm not taking the same route. I'm taking a different one. Um, similar, but just a tiny bit shorter. Even though, honestly, that that original route that I took, Beaver Pond, man, I really loved being in the woods, you know, like with the trees, nice and secluded and shady and it's just so beautiful. But this weekend is an adventure weekend. So I'm determined to, to take new trips, different hikes every time I go. So I just get to know the terrain and have a different experience each time. So I'm still on sunny side. I'm going to go from sunny side to view ridge, which is a loop back around. Um, let's see. After my first hike, I went back to the um, to my room, made some videos, just spent time going over those videos, and then spending time with the Lord. Read a little bit of Colossians. Man, Colossians is awesome. Oh, sorry. I was, I had forgotten. It's been a little while since I've read Colossians. I forgot that that was, that first chapter is the book of all and every. It just gives all these promises that, of how complete we are, you know. He's given us everything and all of it, I've got to just go read it. Go read Colossians, man. It's just so empowering and encouraging because it really is, it just lays it out. He's given us everything. We're fully equipped. All wisdom, all power, you know, man, Colossians is good. So maybe I'll continue in that when I get back home. Or I mean to the room. So the Lord is is kind of opening up this new side of like being adventurous, which I've never really been very adventurous. Maybe I was when I was younger. I was probably more adventurous when I was younger. But honestly, when it comes down to it, like I'm a homebody. I like being at home. We've got a nice big backyard. Kids play in the yard. I don't have to pack everybody up and go find things to do. You know, I like being at home. I like the structure. I like the simplicity. It's just easy. I've been that way for years. But the Lord has kind of been exposing me to his adventurous side. And the Holy Spirit has, um, I, I've said it before, I said it today, like this childlike perspective and, and this curious perspective. And it's, I mean that in a way that, um, not curious as in like he doesn't know what's going on. So he's trying to find out, but just with a curious spirit, do you know what I mean? Like, 
wow, look at that, and I wonder what this does, and let's go check this out, and, um, you know, um, makes things exciting and new. You know, he's the creator. He's in all things. He's above all things. All things were created by him and in him and for him. But what he's showing me is that he loves to experience his creation, his, I don't know, just, he loves to adventure with me, you know, and with you. Because he's created us so uniquely. We're all created differently, you know. Like he was telling me this earlier too. Um, when it comes to our destiny, because I was watching um, The Process of Destiny, which is an episode in Darren Wilson's God and Creativity that he does with his dad. And um, he was talking about the process of destiny and how people will feel like they have a similar destiny or the same kind of destiny as somebody else. And they'll want to do it just like the other person. Or to like go from A to Z, you know, and not do the baby steps that gets you to that place where you're walking in the fullness of your destiny. What the Lord was showing me on my first hike is that it doesn't matter if you have the same destiny as somebody else, you know, because who you are, who he's created you to be, means that even if you have the same destiny as somebody else, it's still going to look different. The process is going to be different. Um, the experiences are going to be different. The perspective will be different because you were created uniquely. You know, how cool is that? So like Mark and I both have a restaurant. But who he's created each of us uniquely, well, I'm making sure I'm not being followed by a big old herd of horses or anything. But who he's created each of us means that as we collaborate together on this destiny of running a restaurant together, it's going to be, um, we're gonna have different perspectives. We're gonna have different ideas when we collaborate, it'll be fresh and new because each of us were created uniquely by God so that he could fulfill this destiny through each of us, but for both of us and for his glory. And the two of us combined will make it even more amazing instead of just Mark or just me. And that's so cool. I mean, he's so creative. He's so fun. I've been saying it like a thousand times. I was watching all, going through all of my videos, like in almost every one, I'm like, this is so much fun. But honestly, like, this is what he's showing me. He's adventurous, he's fun, he's creative, he's filled with joy and life. And he's love, you know? And so why not go on an adventure with him? It makes sense that my second um, getaway with him would just be exploring, being adventurous, trying new things, and just enjoying each other together. You know, intimacy, but so casual. You know, like I, there have been a few times where I've, um, caught myself going, oh, I need to be doing something, Lord, like I'm in my room. I'm going, oh, I need to be like in the Word or studying or doing something, you know, something important. He's like, let's just have fun, you know? Why do you feel like you need to buckle down and study in order to make this fruitful or worthwhile? Like, isn't this fruitful and worthwhile? It doesn't always have to be serious. God isn't serious. He's not, he's got a lot of joy 
and he has a lot of fun. And he's just revealing a totally new side that I, I have known existed this last year. I didn't before. I know now existed, but now he's really showing it to me. And it's awesome. So all of that to say, good grief, this is a long video. All of that to say, I hope you're not totally like seasick from all the moving. And if this is who God is, then this is who he is in all of our relationships. This is, this is his desire for all of us, is to know him in a variety of ways, not just as our rock, you know, not just as our defense or um, our strong tower, but as a friend, as a hiking buddy, as a father, as a best friend, as a betrothed, but as curious and excited and childlike and good and fun. So anyway, I bless you with that and I'm just gonna continue on. See where this road takes me. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>